Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Arcs of Oblivion. We are here on our operation server as usual, episode 20. Die crap, die! So, um, yeah, today I was gonna kinda do this as a side note in an episode, but I've never actually tamed one of the electric eels before. It's, um,. The Electrophorus. It was just a, a comment someone put up in one of our videos. And um, I thought, okay, it'd be kind of cool. We could tame one of these guys. Um, possibly use him for the artifact. Is it artifact of shadows? I think artifact of shadows. Um, there's a lot of water involved. My initial thinking was that I could use a manta to swim down there, uh, maybe an angler fish instead, and just get through the water pretty quickly and have a mount with me that I could fight with if I needed to, which I probably will. If you guys haven't seen that cave, it's kind of crazy. Um, should have a video out either later on today or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, basically, Sniper Lemming pointed out that it might be better to have one of the electric eels be some pretty good damage and if he keeps his electric charge that brings torpor down that would be pretty handy to have so i figured out the hell we'll do it um we'll tame this guy see if it works we don't know the other thing is that it needs to fit into a fish basket if you guys haven't seen the fish basket video check it out card at the top um this is probably the only big pure sea creature that we haven't tested yet so we figure what the hell let's give it a shot um, if it does fit into a fish basket great we'll bring it along if not you know it was worth it, it was worth a try it means you guys don't have to go through all this to try it out okay so what I've done here um, again if you haven't seen the fish, fish basket video it's just a very simple trap I made for the manta because it's a passive tame um, it can be pretty dangerous for you, especially in Aberration. Uh, this is kind of the reason I decided not to just do this video as a side note in another video. Uh, and I would just show you guys uh, a good way to do this. And test everything out with the fish basket, transportation, and see if it's going to be viable for helping us out with the artifact. So Basically we're going to find one. There's a ton of them in here. Um, uh, there's one there. No, oh. hold Awesome. I love the Christmas one. The Christmas event is now uh, over on the server, but any creature that has spawned with a Christmas skin will obviously still be there till it's killed or tamed. Uh, yeah, so we're going to find ourselves uh, an eel here. And I've just built a very similar trap to the Manta. So I've laid down some fence foundations. Whoa. Like I said, dangerous here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build some doors on the bottom. My goat went out. Build some doors down here. I don't think he can get through a door. We will see, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, we're just gonna build this too high as well, just to make sure nothing drops in. Start taming this guy, and then a rock drake decides to come in or something, kill me and kill him. Okay, so what we're gonna do is very simple lure. We're gonna lure him in here. We're gonna get one of the back doors, 
and then spin around and just place the doors in here. So that is the gist of it. Now these guys, like I said, it's a passive team, so it, it will be difficult in the water, which is you know why we're building the trap. But they need to be fed. Well, they can be fed meat, but if you want to do it in uh, good time, you can feed them biotoxin, which we've got here. That your last uh, hot bar slot. So we're gonna feed these guys. Even if we found a max level one on our server with 4x taming, it's probably only 7 or 8 uh, biotoxins. So we've got plenty. If we do have to settle for a low level, we can do a high level if it pops up at some point during the taming. And I think these guys, they've got one charge. So they start glowing blue, they will charge at you, shock you, and then they'll run away to try and do it again. So, if you get more than one on their own, you're probably going to die in the water. You want to try and separate them. Um, the other thing is, because they do run away, it makes it harder to tame them. Ooh, trail lights. Alright, we're going to go try to lure one of these guys. And uh, we will be back in a second. We didn't actually have to travel far, guys. I just noticed there's one just here next to a crab. 115. It's like absolutely perfect. Um, if it does work with the fish basket, he's literally going to be a backup bodyguard type thing. So I'm going to try to lure him up here without luring the crab. There we go. Get out. What? Yeah, they can go a target plan, but I'm gonna put that guy in passive. My guy ate him. Like I said, they they do hit and run, so and my guy did eat him. <clears throat> He's a little scared. All right, I think I'm gonna go search for another one. I don't know where that guy went to. Oh wait, hold on. I might have just missed the death spam. Alright guys, we'll be back as soon as we get another one. Alright guys, we, we got another one here. He he's definitely pissed off me, but he won't come this far in. I'm here. Keep 
forgetting I have a pump action shotgun with me. Alright, back on passive. Okay. Let's get his eel. Seriously? Totally messing this up. Stay. Alright, where is he going? There he is. Yeah, come here. Here you go. Maybe this is too shallow for him. Um, being in the water in earthquake is insane. Come on. Come to me. I know they usually roam and they get hit, but I thought as long as they had their charge, they would come at you. Which, I mean, the first one did, so... I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Come on, earthquake, water, not good. Come on, come on, where are you, where are you? Alright, we gotta wait for this earthquake. All the way over there. And this crab's gonna come for me now, isn't it? Get him. Seriously. Level 100 crab. Broke my armor. Thought I could take him with a shotgun, but. Like I said, dangerous down here. Alright, guys, we're gonna rebuild this trap a little further in the water. S plus mod. Hey guys, welcome back. So we do have another one. I somehow, I don't know. He he just kind of followed me in, but I think he might be stuck in the window. Not entirely sure. I'm gonna try place one of these walls.
Nope, he's definitely not stuck. Get some healing back. He's just really big. It's almost like he's in there, but... But he's not. Okay, he can definitely go through window or through door frames. Definitely seems to help, but I think I did this from my rock drake. Maybe not. Oh, wow, calm down. I think he might be trapped now. Make sure he's not passive. Can he get out of there? I think we've got him. Okay, so no to self. Door frames are useless. Absolutely useless. I don't want them getting out of the, the back end. Maybe these might work if they're up higher. Okay. Okay, he goes apeshit. Okay. <laughs> Feed him, he goes ape shit. Let me relax this for a minute. Alright, I think we got this. This is crazy. I don't know how you would tame one of these guys in the wild. Like, I mean, if you're on the island or something. This is probably why I've never tamed one of these before. I know if you have a Baslo, he's immune to the um the shock. So I guess a Baslo works. If you guys are building this trap, which is the only viable way I can see right now, definitely not use door frames. <clears throat> Build it far enough to water like this so that the wall is at level. 
Hopefully he doesn't go over it because he'll kill himself. be fed again yet. Oh, he is now. <clears throat> Come on over here. Feed him through a wall. There we go. Yep. It's gonna take a little while, guys. Um, but yeah, the the trap does work with a little effort. Um, my first time doing this, so a lot of mistakes. Door frames were definitely a mistake. Window frames might work. Um, they might just let you feed him a little easier than I'm doing right now. But door frames definitely aren't going to work. And obviously he's attacking the wood, but I mean they've got 10,000 health, so... Ugh, stay out of the water. That should be absolutely fine. So yeah guys, we'll cut back just before we tame this guy. No. Sorry guys, I spammed E a little too fast there. Oh, how's anyone sitting there? Oh, 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 he's ours, he's ours. All right, missed the last bite. But uh, yeah, we got him, 185. Um, don't want him to die, we need to get these walls down. He's actually, yeah, he's quite big. I mean, usually you don't get close to these things, you just run away. Um, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna try putting him in a fish basket. Uh, we got fish basket here. like very big I accidentally run into anything oh I think he's oh no he's stuck no all right so we really need to get him into the basket now He's just too high, or come on.
Okay, his head's kind of lower now. Nope. That, that definitely doesn't work. I mean, he's like, he's on top of the thing, so. Well, that's unfortunate, guys, but, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, that's what the testing was for. It would be awesome if he could fit in there. I know you can fit a lamprey in there. Um, not as awesome as a bodyguard, unfortunately, but there you go. We've tried. Fish basket does not work with this guy. Um, I realize he's kind of stuck at half in, half out there, but... I mean, if you look, he's his head is right below the basket or above the basket. If he was going in, he would go in. Man, what a shame! All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a good test. Uh, would have been an awesome um, dino to bring with us, but you know, can't win them all. Uh, I have tamed a reasonably high level manta I think it was like 130 something um, which will we bring with us to do the uh, artifact of the shadows I think it's artifact of the shadows I, I, I got a list here somewhere um, yeah so we'll bring the manta with us might even bring a angler fish in there as well um, just for some extra company or a couple of manta I don't know um, we'll we'll figure something out. We can't bring the electro with us, but we'll we'll definitely get through it anyway. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, and we will see you guys tomorrow.